Hi, it's DM. Today I have some new products to share with you from the Becky store on AliExpress. They sent me several rolled paper flower dies along with some greenery and all the dies that you're going to see today were designed by M1. So the rolled paper flower dies are sold in sets of two. For example, this would be one set. This is another. I also numbered them so that they correspond to the numbers in the listing just to make it a lot easier. And then for each of the die sets, I did cut out at least more than one example to show you what they would look like as um, when you put these flowers together, no two will look alike. They're going to slightly differ. So for example, um, this would be one set here and I cut out the flowers using solid cardstock as well as pattern paper. And um, these are really pretty. They create flowers that measure five eighths of an inch. So it's a really nice size. And I really like this size because lately I've been making my flowers roughly around this size because I find that it's more useful to put on small embellishments. So it's a really nice size. And um, I'm j I just have these flowers up on the screen here so that you could uh, see what they would look like. And then uh, this would be the first four sets. And then let me show you the rest. And the, these are the other two sets that they have. So as you can see, each um, die creates a different flower depending on the shape. At the end of the video, I will be showing you how to put these rolled paper flowers together. But let me show you the other dies that they sent me as well. These are some of the new greenery dies in their shop, and there's actually two sets here. So this would be one set. This is another. And for the examples, I cut those out using some gold foil paper just to show you what they would look like. So they have a very nice dainty design, which is very beautiful. They did cut out nicely. And I think these would look really great as accent pieces on your projects. They did send um, some more greenery dies and here's another two sets. So this would be one set here. And for this one, I cut these out using some glitter paper. And then here's the other set. And for these, I cut them out using some fall paper. And even though some of these do look like they're for Christmas, others you can use year round. And I think they'd look great cut out in different um, colors as well. For the first demo, I'm gonna be showing you how you can make the flowers just by rolling it with your hands. So here's an example that I cut out and I'd like to start from the outside here. So in order to roll our flower, we have to fold this and um, you just fold it as um, tight as you can here. Okay, and it's going to start looking like this. And then you just keep doing that until you get a roll started. And it is going to be fiddly at first because um, of this tiny size of this flower. So you just have to shape this. And then once you have a nice roll uh, formed like this, you can go a little bit faster. And then just roll this all the way. Okay, and then when you get to the end here, you're going to have a piece that hangs over like that. Well, what you do is that just folds onto the bottom like this. So it should look like this. And then what you do is um, you make sure that this is all together like this. Just push down on it. And then you're supposed to let it go. So I'm just going to put it down like this and let it open up like a real flower. I'm just going to move those uh, paper bits here. So it's going to release a little bit. And then I like to just um, push this back down like this. And so your flower is going to look like this. 
and then you just glue the bottom so I have this open like this and I'm just gonna take my uh, glue gun which has been heating up on the side here and then add glue to that uh, bottom piece here and I like to use my finger protector so that you don't burn your finger Okay, and so that is how you make the paper flower. Okay, and then there is an easier way, which is using a quilling tool. So for example, I bought this um, set of quilling uh, tools off of Amazon, and I know that they have it on AliExpress as well. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to find this uh, locally, so I could put a link to the Amazon uh, listing in which I purchased this. But what you can do is you can take your quilling tool and make your paper flower as well. So let me just show you how that's done. So you would just take your die cut piece as well as your quilling tool. And on the tip of the quilling tool, you're going to see a split. So with that split, you're just going to put the piece of paper between that. So I'm going to start at the end here and I'm going to place this so that the um, paper is like this. Okay, and then you just start to roll this. And then I just like to hold it like this. And see how much easier this is so all you do is you just use your quilling tool to turn and then if it um, the flower goes off track you just uh, adjust it and roll it all the way until you get to the end here. And then gently uh, remove the quilling tool from the flower, like that. And then I'm just gonna place this on the table here so that the flower can open up. And um, I like to control it a little by holding it on the outside here. So it's gonna unravel like that. And that looks good to me, so I'm gonna stop it there and then uh, turn this over and then add glue on the bottom so you just open this part up and then add the glue okay and um, so that's how you would do it with the quilling tool it's a lot easier and then once you're done, I never leave the flower just like this. I like to bend the or curl the petals back a little. So for example, this is the other flower that I made by hand. And um, what I like to do is I like to take a pair of tweezers. And um, this is like a Juki brand and it was my mom. So I just took this from my mom. <laughs> and then I like to curl the uh, petals back. So I just take the... Uh, tweezers and go like this to each of the petals because it looks much nicer. For some flowers you might be able to use your fingers to curl everything back like just push the uh, flowers back like this or I mean the petals. But I like to use this. And then you just gently curl them back because it is paper and if you do it too hard, it will rip. And then for the center, I could take uh, several petals and curl them back. As you can see, it's starting to look very pretty. So this is what it would look like if you were to curl it, and then this is what it would look like if you were to leave it. So that's the difference here. And uh, so I'm gonna continue to curl this one as well, because I like that look a lot better. So just uh, start from the outside. 
It is a little time consuming, but the end result is going to be very pretty. And then for some of them, you can just do several petals at a time. Okay, so, and that's basically how you make the rolled paper flowers. Also, as you can see that no two flowers are gonna look alike. It's gonna depend on how tightly you roll them and how much you let them release. So basically that is how to make the rolled paper flowers. I'm gonna be putting a link to all the items in the description box below. If you have any questions or comments, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.